Oh boy, when was the last time I did one of these? Hi everyone, so um, well I haven't spoken to you guys in what feels like a really long time. Um, pretty much, I am very sick right now. I don't know if you can tell I'm congested, but if not, awesome. If you can, even more awesome because you know how I normally sound and that means you've stuck around for this long. So I'm always doing this in every one of my videos, but I am so sorry for the lack of updates. Um, I have some old charms here and some new charms that I want to show you. And I'm going to try to separate a couple updates because I have a lot of things that I've made over the past few months that I have not filmed. But this I'm just going to call my charm update Etsy edition because a lot of these are already on my Etsy. And I am like selling a bunch of these like these matchables for like a reduced price. And if since that's happening right now, I want you guys to kind of get in on this kind of uh, bonus sale that's going on. So let me just get started with some of the things that I have for sale that you guys probably have already seen. So back in the spring, I made something called Meowchables, which are kind of like marshmallow sized cat charms. And this one was one of them. It was the Tamago. I don't remember if I showed you the other versions. If not, um, you can definitely go on my SD and the sold, sold items. You can see some of those old other sushi charms that I made. I also have this Meowchable uh, ice cream cookie sandwich. I am dropping my charms, I'm so sorry. And then likewise I have an Oreo with a super tiny Oreo cookie on top as you can see. And I uh, made the Oreo from a tiny Oreo mold that I got. I remember asking you guys back in like a February update um, where you guys have ever seen a small, small, small Oreo mold. Then I have this chocolate bar matcha bowl. And like I said, these that I'm showing you right now, they are like on sale at, at a reduced price on my Etsy. I have this ramen. And I'm trying to go in like size order, so the smallest ones first. Then I have this Galaxy Star Cat Charm, and I really love this, um, specifically for the star on the back. And then I have these two giant BB-8 uh, matchables. And I had four originally, and now these are the only two left. And I think this is perfect for like Halloween, um, just to have like a, as an accessory, or like any Star Wars fans. And then alongside um, these matchables, I'm also listing some bulba plants for sale. Uh, if you guys don't remember what those bulba plants are, let me show you. So these are my Bulbasaur planters or Bulba plants and um, each one of them have a different flower. This was inspired by something I saw on Instagram a couple months back. I know there are some artists on Tumblr and DeviantArt that made kind of like Bulbasaur uh, sprouting into different flowers and I thought that was super amazing. Um, at that time I said that this was my favorite. It's a carnation and it still is my favorite. These each come with a little stand. The stand looks like this so they each come with their little stands like that. Um, so those are on sale at a reduced price as well. And I think the next time I'm going to remake this, I'm just going to make one for myself. Um, just because I really want to spend more time focusing on larger pieces, more creative pieces. Uh, I tend to kind of rush when I make charms. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I used to think it was a good thing because I like making things and just giving them away, giving them to friends, gifting them, selling them. It was very much more for you guys than it was for me. Um, then I have a regular Bulbasaur. And I really love the regular Bulbasaur because I don't know why I made those two little, I mean four little dots at the top. It just made it look more bulbular, I suppose. And then I have these two as well. I'm sorry if I'm rushing through this. If I can find these updates, I'm going to put all the updates down below so you can have a more in-depth look at them. I also want to try to, you know, just talk to you guys, update you guys um, while I'm sharing this charm update with you. I know it's rather large. Now that I've shown you some of the older charms that are on sale on my Etsy, I'm now going to show you the Palmer, Palmer Clay charms that are newer that are also on my Etsy. Um, so going along with the Matchables again, I have some of these Halloween Matchables. So this one is by far my favorite. Um, this is a skeleton Matchable. And that's what that looks like and everything that you see in this video it's listed on the Etsy if you don't see it you can message me on Etsy and I will list it for you I have these two witch matchables and these are inspired by the witch 
chubbel that I have. Um, so if you don't know what a chubbel is, a chubbel is this. These are the resin creations that I started making last year. So one year an anniversary just passed. Um, I started making them August 2015. It's now September 2016. And with the star design and the purple color and the hat, I just added in some glitter as you can see, star glitter in the cat matchables and I thought that was like a cool kind of theme going on so let me know if you guys like that and then the last matchable body that I've made was this Frankenstein and this is also um, inspired by the Chubble Frankenstein that I've made and if you guys don't remember what that is I will have a photo on the screen so there's those then I made some matchable heads so here are just head alone um, I don't want to call them flatbacks only because they're pretty round and I mixed some opal clay in it so it looks a lot uh, shinier and I really love the effect. And once again I have the two most popular which is Frank the Franken, Porgy and the Witch Chubble were always my most popular so I made those into matchables. And this matchable as you can see has hearts as the blush and the stars up here. Then I also have my favorite, which is this one, the skeleton one. I think the skeleton chubbles were also very popular, so um, I kept that in the family. I also have a jack-o'-lantern chubble. I'm sorry, meowchable. I also have a jack-o'-lantern meowchable like so. Really like how this turned out. I've been making a lot of jack-o'-lantern charms lately. This one has indented ears. And I think I have one last one. Oh, here it is. It's a werewolf, but I mean, cats are kind of wolf-like. I guess dogs are more wolf-like than cats, but I really didn't know how to make this a werewolf. So I guess it's just like a cute little kid, little cat, little kitty. I'm not really sure, to be honest with you, but it was supposed to be a werewolf. So yes, this was supposed to be a werewolf. Um, alongside that, I do have a, another Bulbasaur plant. And this is what it looks like. This is a like a pumpkin sprouting Bulbasaur plant, and the Bulbasaur is like dark. And it's I was going to make a bulb plant with a pumpkin anyway, but nerdy little secrets beat me to it. She has a very similar looking one to this as well. So I definitely wanted to mention that. I don't want you guys to think that I stole any ideas or anything like that because I know some people can be sensitive to that. Um, these glow in the dark, so the leaves, the pumpkin, the eyes, and the little mouth that you can barely see. It glows in the dark and I will have a photo on the screen. Now next are some newer creations that I made. Oh, I forgot about the zombie. Then I also have this zombie matchable and everything in the face glows except for the mouth and the brain. Um, even the little eyes glow and I'll have a picture of that on the screen. Then I made some cat foods. So I don't know why, I'm so intrigued by little cat ears, they're just pointy and cute and I love them even more on like a rounded surface. So I've made a couple of cat inspired charms. They are very much inspired by Hello Kitty, um, but I did not want to use the signature Hello Kitty bow, that's why I'm just calling them my kitty foods or just kitty inspired foods and goodies. Um, this one is inspired by Estrella, also known as Miss Trinity 143. Um, it's one of those berry pies. And uh, like I said, all of this on Etsy. And then I want to show you this next one, which is also inspired by Estrella. It's a pizza Hello Kitty inspired piece. But instead of putting a bow, I put a little heart pepperoni. And this is inspired by one of the uh, Estrella Hello Kitty donuts that she decos. Um, I just love all of her donuts. And likewise, I also made one inspired by Hollycopter. And this is a berry pie. I actually, this is the second time I made this cherry one and I'm also going to show you the blueberry next. Um, if you guys have been following me on Instagram, you already see that I've been learning to make pies. This is my uh, third and fourth time at making these lattice designs. And with these charms, I'm also going to do something very special in the hopeful near future. Uh, this one's the blueberry pie, which is my favorite. So let me know down below which of these two pies you guys like. I, I know a lot of people on Instagram like the blueberry. Uh, next for the Hello Kitty inspired uh, charms are also these charms. So this one is a Hello Kitty inspired, like the new 
Hello Kitty jack-o'-lantern donut inspired by helicopter and silly squishies. So that's what that one looks like. And likewise, I also made like a regular jack-o'-lantern version. Um, you can tell the orange color is different because this is uh, like, I think this one is called orange by Sculpey, but this one I mixed red pearl and I think canary was the other color and pearl to get this orange color and I really like this jack-o'-lantern more um, but let me know which one you guys like likewise I have these two oops, glow in the dark jack-o'-lantern Hello Kitty charms and um, I will also insert a picture so you can see the glow so I really like how the faces turned out I am always a little um, scared that the faces will come out ugly so let me know which of the faces you guys like do you like the squishy version better the regular jack-o'-lantern or the two glow in the darks I also have this Chapel inspired Hello Kitty Donut by Estrella again. This is another pie I made. It was supposed to be like a pumpkin pie and then the face also glows in the dark. You can tell that I'm super into glow in the dark. Um, that's always been something that I've always loved and I just thought that Halloween and fall was the perfect time to incorporate that. Um, and this is what that looks like. And if any of these are sold out on my shop and you want it one for yourself, feel free to message me and I will work on a custom for you because I'm I feel like I am totally up for that. You can tell that I textured the front as well. And then that is it for the Hello Kitty uh, or the Kitty Foods inspired stuff. Next I have some older charms that were uh, Pokemon Go inspired. So I sold all of the Articunos so, so that just goes to show you I guess Team Mystic is winning. Um, I have one Team Valor or Moltres left and two of these Team Instinct and I really enjoyed making this. It was very therapeutic. Um, I made this back in August and then likewise I have the larger versions of these um, little legendary birds right here and you can tell with these I domed the eyes with UV resin and I have these little heart blushes and these wings so each of these have really fun wings as you can tell and these are really cool because I made a magnetic base for them it's loose leaf magnetic so which means if this is like if I'm holding it it's it's not gonna and like I turn it over it's obviously gonna drop but if you sit it down I don't know why I'm putting it on top of my charms forgive me charms um, it will stay like that um, so it's really meant to like just demo like uh, be a stand when the charms are already not in motion. So these little crystals glow in the dark as well. I will put a picture um, on the screen. And that's what Zapdos looks like. And then I also have Moltres. Like I said, Articuno got sold. So this is Moltres and I think I love Articuno and Moltres the most. But let me know which one you guys are for. Uh, which team are you guys on? Then I have some Taiyaki charms. So here are some dipped Taiyaki charms that I made. And um, I actually made this because where I work, there is a Taiyaki ice cream place that opened up back in August. And now there's actually another one that opened up downtown in New York City. Um, the two places I'm talking about, the one that is in Queens is called Ice and Pan. And the second one in uh, downtown New York City is called Taiyaki New York City. So if you are in the New York City area, you guys should definitely go check those out. Trust me, uh, this is not sponsored. I'm just letting you guys know where I got the inspiration. I saw a bunch of these posts on Instagram, so I thought I'd make some Taiyaki inspired charms. So I went a little crazy with the Taiyakis because I also made these where, you know how Taiyakis are usually stuffed with red bean? Well, I'm not a big fan of red bean, so I made some stuffed with chocolate as well as a vanilla. I also made a strawberry version, but um, that one got sold. So these two are still available and they come on they come on these um, tarnish resisting chains. I don't want to call them non-tarnishing because eventually these will tarnish. So they are tarnish resisting because, you know, it'll take a while for them to tarnish. And I also made some ice cream taiyaki um, charms. I only have one left to show you. Both of those got sold really, really quickly. So like I said, if you want one for yourself, please feel free to message me on Etsy. And I think that is pretty much it for all the polymer clay charms that I want to show you guys. 
Um, I'm obviously going to be working on more, hopefully, bigger pieces. So, uh, and you know, I really want to try to make more updates. I just you know, a lot of stuff has been going on. Um, I work, I do a lot of stuff on the side, and uh, I update my Instagram every day, Etsy almost every week, and it just gets a little... time escapes me when it comes to making videos, and I know video editing and filming takes a while, so I do apologize. I'm very, very sorry. It's definitely my fault. I just want to let you guys know that. I will make more of an effort. Um, as always, please let me know if you want to see any specific tutorials on my channel. Um, I will have a couple craft kits that I want to share with you guys. So my last video was a video for Sophie and Toffee. That craft kit, craft kit was a lot of fun. I did that back in June, so I'm hoping to do more to show you guys. So I hope you guys are interested in that. So these are all the polymer clay shrimps I have to show you this time around. I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you guys so, so much for watching.